What has been the number one blocker for you to trial new Linux distribution? Is it the fact you cannot use app to manage applications when you are not using Debian or Ubuntu based system? Or you are afraid the application update will break the system dependencies on the cutting edge distributions like Arch? Either way, you don't have to worry about it anymore, because in this video, I will introduce you to Flatpak. It is a package manager that works on all the major distributions, and you will not break anything on your system no matter how you install or remove applications. I hope by the end of this video, you will provide the coverage you need to hop on any distribution you want. As always, if you're new to Linux or having been enjoying my content, I would like to have you gently touch the like button and subscribe to my channel, which will help me massively. As a part-time YouTuber, I'm constantly working on improving my videos to help more people fall in love with Linux. Your help is my motivation. Thank you. Now let's begin. Let's start with what Flatpak is. It was originally designed to make all the software developers have a unified experience to publish their work for all the Linux distributions. To give you a very simple example, Let's say I'm a developer building an application for all the major Linux distributions, and I want to release a new version to the Linux community. I cannot just package my code to Ubuntu with a dev package and be done with it, because that package would not work on Fedora or Red Hat, since they are using another kind of package manager which only works with RPM files. So, I have to package my code several times for all the distributions I want my application to work on. This is a lot of redundant work for me, and Flatpak is created to solve it. It works as a middle layer to run applications on Linux. When an application is being installed and running using Flatpak, it doesn't need to know the detail of the distribution. Flatpak will take care of talking to the system. It is doing this by creating a sandbox environment to run all the applications, and this sandbox is isolated from the main system. Now, as a developer, I only need to make sure the application can be installed and run properly with Flatpak, then publish only once. I will then have the peace of knowing that all the users will run my application in the same sandbox I used when I was testing my code. With the definition out of the way, let's talk about why should we care as users. First, with Flatpak, there will be only one set of commands to use when managing applications. You no longer need to worry about adapting to a new set of commands when switching to a non-familiar distribution. I use the same installation command to set up Joplin, my favorite note-taking application for years, no matter what I'm running. Not only that, you can also install applications without using the command line. You can just download the packages from the Flathub website and then install them which is exactly like how you install programs on Windows, and I will show you how to do it in both ways later. Second, all the applications will have the same version across distributions. My first non-Debian-based distribution was CentOS. Before switching over from Ubuntu, my biggest fear was that what if my favorite applications are not available on CentOS? Even if they are, what if those applications are too old for my taste? But these questions never came to my mind after I was introduced to Flatpak because I switched almost all the applications I use frequently to Flatpak version and they will not change as long as I point the application repository to Flathub. Thirdly, there are a lot of applications to choose from out of box. People love it so much that it attracts a lot of attention from all the big tech companies. Not only does Flathub contain the open source software it also has tons of commercial applications, the most signature ones being Spotify, Microsoft Teams, Google Zoom, Discord, and Steam. I started using Teams and Zoom on Linux from Flathub when I was job hunting ever since 2020, and they never crashed once. Then there's the performance. Flatpak is not the only one providing the solution to distributing applications across distributions. There are two other major competitors in this field. One is called Nix, and the other Snap. But after using all three of them, Snap packaged applications are too slow to start. 
The biggest example of that is after Mozilla decided to go with Snap as the default distribution method on Ubuntu 22.04, people have been complaining about the startup speed of Firefox. Then there's Nix, which is quite epic and popular as well, given it has a longer history than Flatpak. But if you're using Nix package on a non-Nix OS system, there are more issues compared to Flatpak. One of them being the secondary language input method is not working properly. So for me, as a non-native English speaker, Nix packages won't meet all my needs. Next, Flatpak won't mess up with a local Linux installation. Because Flatpak runs applications in a dedicated sandbox, you'll manage all the dependencies inside that sandbox environment. It doesn't have the need to touch anything on your main system, no matter how you install or remove the package with Flatpak. I remember the first time Linus from Linus Tech Tip tried the Linux gaming challenge. He killed the pop OS using apt command. Clearly, he didn't know how to use Flatpak. Finally, let's talk about how to install and how to use it. Once you have your system set up properly, hit the like button and go to flathub.org on your browser. Click on the Quick Setup button, choose your distribution, and copy some commands to the terminal. It will usually ask you to reboot your system, but that's it, you're done. And if you pay attention to the setup guide, you will notice that it is asking you to point the Flatpak command to the FlatHub repository, which we will be using as our main source of the applications for this video. Now, let's install some software. And to do that, you can choose between FlatHub website or command line. Let's start with using the website. Again, go to flathub.org, search anything you want, choose your poison, click on the install button and save the package. Go to the download folder and double click on the file. Depending on which distribution you're using, most likely the GUI software manager will pop up. Click on the install button and you will take care of the rest. If you're not using a distribution which has the GUI interface, software manager, chances are either you choose the wrong distribution as a new Linux user, and you should check out this video on how to pick your first ever Linux distribution, or you are a more advanced user who is comfortable with command line, so you can just keep watching. Flatpak has the same set of commands like apt. To search a package, use flatpak search following the terms. To install the package, you can either use the package ID you get from the search results, or just the package name, which will ask you for the correct application from a list. You can see what you have already installed by using flatpak list command, and flatpak remove will take care of the uninstallation. Now, I hope you are confident to try out more distributions without worrying about the application inconsistency between the different systems. But wait, that is not the only thing you need to take care of before hopping to another system. What about the data backup? and the USB burning process. Well, check out this video, which will tell you all the things that I use made me a better distro hopper. And also let me know in the comment section below with your suggestions on the tips, tricks, and tools you use when hopping the distro. And that is all for this video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next one. Bye.